faster than the blink of an eye. Able to leap Lake Erie in a single bound. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Secret Silent E. I am Secret Silent E. I stand for true spelling in the American way and I am here to save all the words. On this day, we find the word R with the phonogram AR, which is R, and the secret silent E. The E is there to make sure the phonogram isn't by itself. <laughs> nice word. Oh, no! Well, it's a fine day to find an E. Oh, what is that one over there? <gasps> the word R ends with an E. It's mine! Yes! <laughs> and that leaves A-R. That has to go to word jail. It's not a word. Ha 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 ha! Send A-R to world, word jail. It goes to word jail. Oh no! The spellbinder's up to his old tricks again. And now the phonogram R is all by itself. Without Secret Silent E, R's gonna go to word jail. Phonograms can't be by themselves. They have to have other letters to make words. Where is Secret Silent E to do job six? Help! Help, Secret Silent E! Where are you? Come do job six! Help! Here I come to save the day. Secret Silent E is here to the rescue. That phonogram needs help. It's going to word jail. It can't be by itself. I'm gonna do job six and help it so it says the word R. Here I come! Yes! Secret Silent E has come to save the day once again! He is doing job six, which means that the phonogram has another letter, because phonograms cannot be words by themselves! Thank you. Thank you, Secret Silent E, for once again saving the day. Stay tuned for our next episode of The Adventures of Secret Silent E. Until next time. All right, we're going to use our logic. We've got shark plus shark equals 40. So what number does the shark represent? Well, I'm thinking 2 plus 2 is 4, so maybe 20 plus 20 equals 40? <laughs> that looks right. Now we've got shark plus squid equals 25. Would well, you remember what shark is? I think shark is 20 plus something equals 25. You figure this one out. Now we have octopus times squid equals 40. Do you remember what squid is from the previous one? Let's see if you can figure it out. We have a question mark times 5 equals 40. So something times 5 equals 40. Figure it out. Now we have squid times shark minus octopus equals what? That one you're going to do all on your own. 